Hey, this is Jason Ayers with Dimension Data, and I'm configuring uh, Cisco 7925s using EatFast back to a Cisco Secure ACS 5.1, uh, and I'm running through a Cisco wireless LAN controller. I've also got multicast enabled for a uh, single wires push to talk application. Um, first thing to note is I did need to upgrade to a newer version of code. Uh, there's a lot of multicast issues with 4x, uh, 5x, and we wanted to go to 60196 um, as the recommended. Um, I did create a segment, a uh, Wayland, called the uh, JV Voice that is using WPA security policy with uh, CCKM and .1x, which is our eat fast. Um, so if I go and take a look at the uh, radio policy and in the interface, and then just show some of the layer 2 security is WPA, WPA2, and then we're using CCKM for key rotation, no layer 3 security, and then our Cisco ACS server is uh, set up here and tied back to this WLAN. And then for QoS, we have a Platinum, and we're using WMM. And then if you take a look at any advanced settings that are listed here as well. In the controller itself, we enabled multicast. We need to make certain that the VLAN that the APs are on uh, has IP uh, multicast routing enabled. In this case, we're using PIM sparse dense mode and we're using a reserve multicast private uh, address. The second wireless LAN controller is .2. Um, we've got IGMP snooping enabled. And that's pretty much it as far as the configuration on the wireless LAN controller. And then if we wanted to go back and look at clients, you know, we can find some of the clients that are on it. Second step is configuring the Cisco Secure ACS. Uh, first step we had to do is identify some uh, uh, network devices and AA clients. We're using basically the default locations, default device types. So I had to configure the wireless LAN controllers uh, to be uh, network devices to accept the radius uh, authentication requests that come in. Then I created an internal identity. We are authenticating here on the ACS server. Um, so I created a username uh, and password uh, for all of the 7925 phones. And then if you wanted to uh, reset the password on that, uh, you would go down to uh, down here and then change password once you select that user. Um, my policy elements uh, basically look like this. Um, they're, they're pretty much wide open. There's just the default uh, profiles and then under the access policy I created a new uh, service called 7925s. Uh, so let me go back. If you look at access service create a new one called 7925s. Basically I'm allowing MS chat version 2 and eat fast. And then under uh, eat fast, you do have to permit in band uh, pack provisioning. So you do want to make certain that anonymous in band pack provisioning is enabled. And then if I go back to more details, same, same thing here under the Now I can actually watch my hit count as I see phones attempt to authenticate. So my rule for my uh, authorization is that all locations, anything matching the radius protocol, any device type in 7925 permit access. And then uh, if I go into monitoring and reports, I can open the monitoring and report viewer. And then if I, usually if I go into reports catalog, first thing I want to take a look at in the catalog is the, uh, I can't remember if it's the AA protocol or, yeah, AA protocol, and then I'll take a look at TACACs or actually radius accounting, and I can actually see whether there were uh, EAP requests coming in to the Cisco Secure ACS box or not.
and then here I can actually take a look at what you know what packets are coming in from what IP address. and then radius today if I take a look at the radius I can actually dig in see who authenticated and what they authenticated for so I can see that I got an eat fast pull up details and then I can actually take a look at what the traffic looked like if I go to the steps it usually gives me more detailed information about the flow of the packet so the first thing was we matched a uh, rule this is the steps at the bottom of the report we matched a rule you know, we see the packet, we see the TLS, we see the radius challenge in excess. And then at the bottom we're, uh, you know, continuing on and eventually we match a, a permit access policy. And that basically sends back permit access to the uh, client along with a packet that gets provisioned. And at that point the phone registers, registers to call manager and uh, is then uh, connected.